sometimes life calls for a real do-over and that's completely okay. My next guest is an award-winning author and inspirational speaker here to talk wonderful ways to create a new life at any age. My name is G. Brian Benson and I am the author of Habits for Success and you're watching The Shundria Show. What's one of the initial steps to reinvent our lives? No matter what age we are, what we've been through, like you've had a, you know, a story, but we all have stories. So like what, what are some first steps to just... Get honest with yourself. Ah. Get really honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Try to figure out why you're feeling bummed out or you feel like you're not growing. You know what I mean? Try to, try to identify those areas where you're not feeling complete. And then uh, self-awareness is key. You know, once you can start to kind of hone in on why, then you can begin to do the, the changes. Okay. The mind can play tricks on us at times, and fear alone can wreak worse havoc. How do we prevent fear from being a roadblock in our new lives? Mm. It's going to creep up sometimes. <laughs> well, that's for me. Um, so I guess that would be an initial step. Expect it. Like, sometimes you're going to be A little fearful. bit, yeah. Anytime you can kind of, though, try to shine some light on that fear, I think that can maybe sometimes minimize it. Uh -huh. A new life can encompass so much. Your career, education, marriage, family experiences, travel, exercise, hobbies, and of course, financial growth. Until we see those changes, there could be a blow to our confidence. Rome wasn't built in a day. How do we style our new life gracefully in time? Can't get there today, mm. but you'll get there. 10 years ago, you were working in your family's business. Yeah. You hadn't written any books. You hadn't acted on any shows. You hadn't done any podcasts. You hadn't done any TED Talks. You hadn't done any of this stuff gracefully styled your life in such a way. Each step I took made me feel alive and empowered because it was something I hadn't done before. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of gave me the energy to, to keep testing my boundaries. Tools and resources can we utilize to create innovative new ways to change our lives to garner effective results? Hmm. Besides well, buying all of your books. Well, yeah, all right, okay, <laughs> thank you for saving me from having to say that. <laughs> Find life balance. You know, really, oh, really try to establish good, life balance because good. if you can find that balance, um, it does so much for us. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, I think when you can kind of get into that place of just getting getting quiet at times, it allows your intuition to come through stronger. Because you know, a lot of times you're just zipping through life, and especially in a big city like here, you know, you got music pouring in all the time, and you're just not really able to just quiet down and hear what's coming through. You know, I think that's a big um, disadvantage. You know, I'm not necessarily religious or I'm, I would like, to, I'm spiritual, but I mean, I really feel like intuition is almost like a, a guiding path mm -hmm. to bring fulfillment to ourselves for our own version of success. So if we stop